Hello, friend! My name is Asindra, and today I'm going to continue playing for you Magical Diary Horse Hall with friend! Hey! Uh, so, last time, friend was standing at the booth uh, for the, the fundraiser, and uh, because she doesn't have a watch or the self-preservation to check with uh, the teacher, <laughs> almost passed out into the booth of candles. Yay. Good job, friend. As, lo as long as they're not lit, I think it's fine. Yeah, really. <laughs> that would <laughs> yeah. be a nightmare. <laughs> that would be a nightmare. <sighs> yeah. Anyway. After a quick detour to lock up the remaining supplies and money, he leads me to the Glen. Have you been here before? Once. Sit. Say nothing. I will order. A few minutes later, I have a cup of something hot in front of me. What is this? Chai. It's sweet and spicy. It makes my throat burn a little. Thanks. It shouldn't have been necessary if you had any sense. I suppose I should be thankful you didn't simply lock your knees and faint. Falling face first into a table full of candles? Ouch. I've never been alone in a social situation with Graviton before. I don't really know what to say now. Hey, I wonder what's England like, says the girl with the English accent. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to ask him that? Let's, let's ask what he was reading, because the Do You Come Here Often one sounds a bit like a pickup line. Mm -hmm. So let's let's go for the reading. I also don't remember him ever mentioning stuff about England, so, you know. Well, he's got the English accent, even though oh, I'm voicing me. him. <laughs> well, I'm voicing apparently a character from, what, New Hampshire or something? Yeah. I don't know what that accent sounds like. No. I don't either, actually. <laughs> I'm sure Google could tell us, but in the meantime... So, uh, what were you reading? Nothing that would interest you. Well, I can't know if I'm interested if I don't know what it is. Or else I am interested because I don't know. The title is... Some Anomalies and in Interpretations of Fragmentary Great Appendage Arthropod Fossils from Lower Cambrian Shales. Oh. As I said. Um, what does that mean? Concern yourself with your own studies, Miss Quill. You have more than enough work ahead of you as it is. Yes, sir. I guess he's not much for small talk. I mean, really? <laughs> <laughs> Just, why, why would you think he was? After a while, a waiter places a small plate of bright red berries in the center of the table. I already know what these are, so I take one. As, expe as expected, the burst of strawberry juice makes me feel a little better. Professor Gravener's face doesn't change at all despite the sweet treat. I suppose it's too much to expect that it would cheer him up. We should go. Yes, sir. Thank you again. And guess what we get to do today? Ooh. We get to put on my tiara! Look at that! Fuck yeah! It's got Squat gems! Thing to accentuate my hair. It does have gems, nice. Do you want to do anything else? Um, Not that I can think of. Let's go to next week. Morning assembly. Early on Monday, all the freshmen are called together. Good morning, buttercups. <clears throat> the Thanksgiving break begins this week after classes on Tuesday. There will be no further scheduled activities until Monday, the 2nd of December. If you are staying through the break, the library will be open and meals will be served at the regular times, as well as the feast on Thursday and some organized activities. If you are leaving and you need to leave before tomorrow evening, and you haven't already made arrangements, please talk to me after assembly. Now, there is one more thing. For those of you who are Wild Seed, if you are leaving, this will be your first time away from the comfort and protection of Iris Academy. You are witches and wizards, and the people around you out there are not. The choice that you have made three years ago still stands. You must not reveal our secrets to the outside world. You must not discuss or display magic in front of anyone who is not one of us. Not your old friends, not your families, no one. 
If you betray our trust, you will not be allowed to return. And we would miss you. Now, I'm sure you have a busy week ahead of you, so I'll let you get on with your schedules. As I'm about to head off, someone catches my arm. Hi, Amethyst. Thanks again for covering for me on Saturday. Professor Grabner said you did a great job. He did? Sure. You worked hard and raised a lot of money for our class tribute. I wasn't sure he'd tell you that himself, so I thought I should carry the message. Anyway, I've got to sort out my schedule, so bye! Laters. <laughs> so, Professor Grabner almost complimented me in an indirect way. Huh. Well, I'd better decide what I'm doing this week. Wow, you only get you two get days. so many choices. <laughs> right, well, I did say that we were going to study black magic, and I was thinking of doing it twice, so let's just do it twice. Okay. Yay. <gasps> Spell. You can open doors. Aloha, Mora. <laughs> <laughs> he failed. Uh. <clears throat> if I might have your attention, please. Take hold of each other's hands and close your eyes. We give thanks to the parents who created us and the friends who helped us grow, to the earth with nur with the which nurtures us and the other worlds which inspire us. For what we have been given and for what we have to give, for those we have who have taken us in, when we were in need, for forgiveness and for the hope of renewal. May our tributes bring joy, and may no call go unanswered in this Thanksgiving season. So may it be. Hands pull away from mine as other students echo her words. Have a very happy holiday! Well, now I can hang up my cape, find my parents, and be on my way. School will be waiting for me when I get back. On vacation. It's just like a week of vacation. <laughs> wow. We could have literally got so much trash. I did not need to, like, sleep yeah. or anything. <sighs> oh. I arrived back at school for my vacation, feeling slightly disoriented. It was nice to see my family again, but in some ways, they feel like strangers. And all my old friends, they've all moved on. I know this feels. Hmm. Back to my room, then. Hey, Amethyst, you're back. How was your holiday? Weird and awkward. Let's be honest. It was really weird. I know we're not allowed to do magic or talk about it, and I didn't, but... I was worried at first that my parents were going to ask about it, and then I wouldn't know what to say, you know? But then they didn't ask anything. I mean, they asked how my classes were and if I liked my teachers and things like that, but nothing about wands or witches or spells, not even hints. It's like they've completely forgotten. They probably have. What? Well, it's all part of the same thing, you know? Outsiders aren't allowed to know about magic. What if your parents went around telling everyone their daughter was a witch? But they know I was going to school for magic. They saw me in my robes. I don't know how it works. I just know that Wild Seed parents are kind of encouraged to forget about it after school starts. Is... is that why my family didn't come for me? They forgot me? It's not supposed to make them forget about you. It's just to forget that you're a witch. It's easier this way, isn't it? To keep it a secret? Like you said, if they knew, they'd ask. Well, people still ask about school and everything I tell them, I just have to make it up. Or change the details so it doesn't sound magical. And then I have to remember what I said. Yeah, some people can't handle that. That's why some Wild Seed kids get just stop going home. And some of them go home and never come back. But you came back, and we're glad to see you, right? Yeah. It looks like Ellen's not entirely sure what to think of this development, either. My old classmates kept all kinds of secrets from their parents. Who they were dating, where they went at night, what they had and hadn't done. Is this the normal way for things to be? Is this just part of growing up? Well, I won't be seeing my parents again until Christmas anyway. But now it's back to school. On Monday morning, someone knocks on our door. 
Virginia gets up to answer it. This is all that animation. <laughs> Good morning! Here are your exam schedules for the day! She returns, holding a piece of paper. Exams? Today? But, but we haven't had any time to prepare! Well, it has been a while since the last exam. We've had it all the time. Well, that's not the same. No, but we'll do our best, right? So, I have an exam after class today. What else should I do for this week? Uh, I have no idea what the exam is going to be about. I don't uh, remember either. We'll find out. I'll be able to tell you after. Yeah. Um. Just trying to think. Um, I should probably do either red or green or white to see if I can get that up above 20. Because then that should give me a couple spells, right? I don't know. Do you yeah, want to do... do... Yeah, let's do that. Red and green and white. And then... Let's do another black and another red. Good luck, me. Yay. Yay. I you got a can, spell. Fuck yeah. You can cut somebody. Shake Stabby, a bitch. Stab. <laughs> so, here I am. I wonder what this exam will be about. Here we go. In the dungeon again. The exit to this dungeon has been hidden. You cannot teleport out of the level. You must use your magic wisely to find your way out before you run out of energy. You may choose to surrender at any time, and you will be retrieved from the dungeon safely. However, you will fail your exam and receive demerits. Good luck. Hang on, let me save it. Saved coming time. Well, um, uh... It's exam three, right? Exam... I wanted to write detention for like three seconds there. <laughs> <laughs> it's not another that detention. Was, it's not why. Right. <laughs> so, um, the goal for this one is to find the exit, right? Okay. So that sounds about right. What should, we, like, we only see this section of thing. What should we do? Uh, let's go east. Okay. Or turn east and then go forward. Wander around is a good solution. Yes, that's wonder. Continue going east? Yeah, let's keep going forward. Actually, hang on. Open spellbook. Don't I have a spell that shows me the area? Mm-hmm. It's awareness. But it costs 10, and you only have 26. Ooh. And you can just walk around, so. Yeah, let's just walk around. I'll do. Uh, close spellbook. You're at a crossroads. Well, what? Forwards. East. Oh, yeah. Forwards? <laughs> this map is bigger than I thought it would be. <laughs> Let's go north. And up. And up. Okay, let's go back and go down the west corridor. West here. South. Okay, back up and go east. I think there's only then, one path left, which is. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, this area is entirely closed off, is what we have discerned. Doesn't look like there was anything around. Mm hmm. So, what you can do is you can cast a breeze which would probably um give you a sense of if there's like um an exit because it'll um you'll be able to feel the breeze actually moving to but yeah. I'm not entirely sure if it does that push objects useless slash is useless spark is useless warm is useless um you could cast darkness, but I don't see why you would do that. Farsight mm. would uh, let you look at things that are far away that you already know, so that's kind of useless. Yeah, it's useless. Light is a little, or is um, Lumos. 
<laughs> Silencing, there's nobody to silence. True sight allows you to see through illusions, which means that you'd be able to see if a wall was fake. You have nothing to far speak to. Um, boost strength, I mean, you could run at a wall. Strong. This is no. If you're really, really clever. <laughs> <laughs> um, diagnosis is for living things. Heal and track, track scent might have worked, but I think we've already passed through all of the area, so it would only tell you if you'd been there. Um, detect mm, would work. Track scent might be too late to use, because otherwise I was thinking, if someone else has been there, then I'd be able to smell them. Mm -hmm. As creepy as that sounds. Hmm. I think your best bet would be either Breeze or True Sight on random walls. Um, let's go with True Sight for this time. Okay, where do you want to do it? Uh, let's go... What is? It would make sense to have an exit on the edge, but... Yeah. Let's go north and then west. That'll do. Uh, hang on, can we go back a bit? Yep. Spin around. One more. Nope. Okay, let's try it here. Okay. I don't know why I picked here, just here. Try. Screw it, straight. Nope. No. What I'd recommend is at the areas where it's corners, because yeah, that might there's actually work. space to go. Yeah, let's try the corners. Nothing here. Uh, wait, no, I want to keep going. Yeah, let's try it in these two anyway. And if we run out of magic, then we can always go back. So. I'm totally not cheating. Eh. <laughs> I mean, do you want to fail your exam and get detention? No. I don't want to get detention again. Detention sucks. You get to spend time with Donald. Yeah. You don't like Donald? He's alright, just... Uh. Spin around. Are there any illusions in this place? There are. This is how you're supposed to... I mean, this is how it works. Hmm. And what about down that corner? Like... We haven't been at the north bit. No, yeah. no, no, back. Yeah. And then up. North. We haven't been up this one. You can't walk through this wall. <laughs> Just trying to walk through the wall. Oh! Hey, we can walk through these walls. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go through that then. I thought you were gonna read it. Never mind. Oh, sorry. I climb the stairs and emerge from the Duncan dungeon. Dun Duncan? Yeah. What? Duncan <laughs> I emerge from Duncan. Is there even a Duncan in the story? No. Uh, I climb the stairs and emerge from the dungeon, blinking into sunlight. Congratulations, Amethyst. For succeeding in your quest, you receive five merits. Yay, thanks. I hope you enjoyed putting your skills into practice. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have another student to look after. I guess I can go relax now. Back in our dorm room, I find Ellen muttering to herself. Um, how'd it go? Didn't. You didn't take the exam? That's what he said. I don't understand. Were you in the dungeon or not? I was in the dungeon. I found the way out. I just didn't use magic. How did you do that? I analyzed the layout to decide which walls were most likely structurally to be false, and checked them for inconsistencies until I found two walls that were identical. I was sure one was an illusion, but they still felt solid. So I decided my mind was being fooled into stopping my hand and making me think I felt something. 
So I jumped at the wall so I wouldn't hit I would hit it mid-air, and my mind wouldn't be able to pull me back, and it worked. But I didn't cast any spells, so he said it didn't count, and he wouldn't give me any merits for it. Oh. Ellen's a scientist. Yeah, that's not fair. It is a magic exam, but it's not fair. Well, that's not fair. They always say it doesn't matter how we solve the challenges, as long as we solve them, right? Yeah. It's a trick. That's a nasty trick. What how many people they catch for not telling us the real rules. Yeah, you're right. It's not fair. They're doing it wrong. She stomps out of the room. Where is she going? I follow in Ellen's wake as she steams up through the halls. Professor Grabner, sir! I beg your pardon? Your testing procedure is unbalanced and unfair. Take it up with the headmistress. I have no time for this. No, you listen to me. It's important. She's yelling at Grabner? I can feel the fascinated crowds hovering around to watch the show. Would you be willing to accept attention in exchange for my listening to your little diatribe? Yes. I see. Carry on. You tell us that we're supposed to be creative, but you discourage creative solutions. You tell us that we're supposed to think our way out of challenges, but you don't teach us to think. All we've learned since we've been here is spells. No history, no literature, no guidance on what is and isn't accepted behavior, and then you punish us anyway. You tell us how to experiment, but you don't tell us how to do it safely. You don't give us the tools to measure our progress, and you make fun of science for doing what you can't. It's wrong! Have you finished? Yes. Very well. I will see you on Saturday for your detention, Miss Middleton. He swallows his cape around him and walks away. Ah! <laughs> I think I'm going to quietly sneak back to the room. And next time, we will continue getting magic and magic not points, doing yay. science. <laughs> oh, I like science. <laughs> Much hmm. to Ellen and friends' dismay. Dismay, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, thank you for watching. Friend, do you have anything left to say? Thank you for... Supporting us in our exam endeavors. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I love you. Bye bye. Bye.